the legs don't fit. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching this week. Uh, this week, I had a great time heading out to Metcalf again. Um, I have a previous video on Metcalf if you want to check it out. Check out the link above. Um, but this week we went to Metcalf with a good friend named Jason. Uh, I met him at the local climbing gym a few years back and he's such a fun, awesome guy. So this week I was able to, for the first time, um, do some video while I was, after I jugged up a rope and, and tried to capture some video from above. So I'm very excited for this week's episode because it's my first time doing this type of, this type of video experience. And I got lucky enough to capture Jason totally cruising this route in Metcalf. Um, the route is actually in the Land Before Time area, which if you haven't been there and you're an Ontario climber, find that little spot. It's in just past the rubble heap area. You kind of go around and you find your way through this like mysterious little corridor. It's kind of hard to find. The first time I went looking for this area, it took me a while. I got a little bit lost and passed it a billion times. But when you find it, it's something else. Can't even kind of begin to describe the area. It's at least 10 degrees <laughs> colder in this little corridor spot than anywhere else in in Metcalf. So keep that in mind if you're gonna go there. Um, but it's just got this onions to it. I, I love it. It's just this really cool area that literally and figuratively um, that has beautiful views. So if you can get in there, definitely do it. It's got some really good routes that are a little bit uh, lower in grade, so a little bit more accessible. But yeah, let's let's check out this this little climb that Jason did uh, in the area and see him cruise this line, even though he says he makes it look harder than it actually is. To me, he crushed it because you know what? It's it, it, it's definitely a route that is more burly than <laughs> than he made it look. So enjoy this week's episode of Jason crushing kimchi contest in the Land Before Time area of Metcalf. Let's get to it. Nice. There, there we nice go. Way. Good job, man. Oh, there it is. Oh. Uh, way to go. <laughs> this is a giant ledge up there. Clipping. I made that look way harder than it had to be. <laughs> nice clip. Like it. You're doing. You're doing exceptionally well, sir. Thank you, thank you. Oh, that's up. Clean. Yes. Very foul mark with that hold up there. <laughs> you got this. Yeah. Oh, nice clip. Yes, honey. Nice. Let's go. 
Beauty. Wow. That was solid. Thank you. Wow. Whew. Okay. Just gonna do a take for a second. Yeah. Way to go. <laughs> that was nice gorgeous. work. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that amazing climb Jason was able to throw down in Metcalf the other day. Uh, thank you so much for watching that. Uh, <laughs> give him a shout out in the comments. Tell him how amazing he is because he is a really cool guy and really nice guy um, and an absolute crusher, which doesn't hurt. <laughs> um, I just wanted to go through a couple of updates for the channel as well before we go today. Uh, one thing being that I did put the climbing wall up on the Retro Flash app. The climbing wall in our backyard, the name we gave it for the app is The Billy. So shout out to Aaron who commented on the video the other week uh, and gave us the name suggestion. It's kind of a nickname for the street that we live on. So thank you, Aaron. The wall is named The Billy, so you can check it out on Retro Flash app and set a couple boulders for us to try and crush. Um, other than that, we are still in this weird phase in Ontario where we can't necessarily go climbing as much as we would like to. The gyms are still closed and that kind of thing. But as I promised before, I'm going to continue to try and put out uh, new content as much as I can. And some of the exciting things that are coming up for me is I'm getting a lot more into photography and videography of climbing. So I hope to get you guys some cool content out both on this YouTube channel as well as uh, my Instagram account. So check out my Instagram at CW Climbing for some more cool photos of some of the adventures that we have throughout Ontario. Uh, and then once things open up, hopefully uh, throughout the rest of the country and into the States. So that's, that's the big plans anyway, as soon as things open up a little bit more. But I appreciate absolutely everybody that has been here since the beginning. Very recently, we've gotten a bunch of new subscribers and I am so thankful for that. We hit the 500 milestone. It's just like, it's unreal. <laughs> I didn't ever think that uh, it would get to 500. I always just kind of thought that this would be a little bit more for me and my friends and family and that was about it and so thank you to everybody who's been watching and supporting throughout um including my ogs you are my original 500 so thank you uh keep spreading the word and let's see if we can get this bad boy to a thousand um hopefully that can happen soon so thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart i truly appreciate all of the support and all the views and all the thumbs up and all of the likes all that stuff all the comments i appreciate it so Thank you, and I will see you again soon with some more climbing content. Ciao, guys. <laughs>